Thirdly, the Word of God invokes an atmosphere of His presence producing change. The Word of God invokes an atmosphere of His presence that produces change. If you want to know what I'm talking about, just, just go sit down in a room somewhere where maybe it's just you and a few other people and you pick up some other book and you start reading that book in that room and everybody else is fine. But honey, you pick up the Bible and you begin to read the Bible in that room. Well, let me tell you, let me tell you like this. Right now, in Oklahoma... There's a stone monument out there. And it don't even have Jesus standing beside of it. It don't even depict supernatural angels flying over the top of it. It's just a piece of stone with the Ten Commandments engraved on that piece of stone. And I want to tell you this morning that the Word of God is so powerful in Oklahoma that the courts in Oklahoma are saying we need to get this thing out of here. Because we don't even want the presence of the Word of God around here because it invokes conviction and it invokes a change that has to occur. I cannot drive past that monument and see that monument and see the, and read the words on there and stay the same. Because I'm here to tell you this morning, ladies and gentlemen, that when God's Word is in the house, change is going to come. Right. Amen. 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 And the Word was manifest. And the Bible said the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Yeah. And then somebody tried to reduce Him down to nothing more than just a little bitty plastic Jesus. And somebody put Him in a little bitty plastic manger. And put a couple of plastic wise men around Him and stuck Him on some public property down in Florida. And the word in the town was that that town was so offended because of a plastic Jesus. They were so offended, so much so, that somebody had to go buy the plastic Jesus so they could move him down from there and get him off of public property and get him out of the way because they didn't even want that word represented in even so much as a little plastic Jesus. Now, I'm not talking to you this morning about bowing down and worshiping an idol or some image or some representation, but I am saying this. You'd have to be bad to the bone to be plastic and still strike fear into the heart of men and women Amen. in this world. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying this morning? I'm talking to you about a plastic Jesus. I may have to preach on a plastic Jesus one time. I'm telling you today, hell was shaken over a plastic Jesus. Demons in hell trembled over a plastic Jesus. And when the church believes the Word of God, God said, I'm going to move in and change everything because it's not the plastic that's doing all the shaking. Amen, brother. 